Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you and to bless you for who you are and what you mean in my life. I come before you with a humble heart to give your word, Lord. I pray that your Holy Spirit may take over and filter every word, that it may go forth like good seed upon the hearts of your people, which is, will be good soil to bear fruits that will bring encouragement and equipping and preparation for your second coming. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus from the hairs of my head to the toes of my feet against every attack of the enemy that come to distract and waste time. I also cover this media platform with your presence. Take over. I pray that I may decrease as you increase. Anoint your word, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Welcome to One Word TV. I am your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor of the program Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. I'm broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, and this is a production of One Word Digital Media, which is situated in Seattle, Washington. And this is the power of technology. My brother, my friend, you could be there. You have an idea. Don't just keep it inside. Because what you could be holding inside you could bring a lot of breakthrough to the future generation, just like the media we are using. Remember the Google. Remember the IBM, Amazon, all those. You could be carrying that other one that through the idea God has given you. Come out with it. Get out of fear. And bring it out for them. There will be somebody out there to nurture it. It doesn't mean there, there is not going to be dis uh, discouragement. There will be. But hold on. Something will be bad out of your courage step. The title of my message to you today will be. Jesus help us to become. My verses of reference will be from the book of Mark 1. I'm going to read verse 14. To 18 from New King James Fashion in Jesus' name. Now, after John was put in prison, Jesus came to Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God, and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. And as he walked by the sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, Casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. Then Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I, will make, and I will make you become fishers of men. They immediately left their nets and followed him. May the Lord bless his word. This is a time there was a challenge because John was put in prison, but the gospel had to continue. There could be things in life that are happening in your area, in your life, in your family, in your nation, in your county, in whatever situation you could be, even in your body health-wise. But the kingdom of God must be preached. Yes, John was put in prison, but Jesus continued to preach the word. And as he continued and he was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw some men who were doing their business. God is in the business of calling people who are busy, not who are idle. God never deals with idlers because if he's an action-taking God, how can you, he take somebody who is just idle? You're going to idle in the kingdom. He meets Simon and Andrew. They were fishermen. They are busy doing their work for their daily living to provide for their family. And here Jesus comes and he calls them and tell them, follow me. And here they are. They live their busy lifestyle and followed him. I even like the word which is used, immediately. They immediately left their nets and followed him. My brother, my sister, my dear friend, 
You are in a business. You are in that a career. You are in that education. You are in that marriage. You are in that ministry. And God has been calling you all the time. But you've been giving yourself reasons. I am busy. Yes, these people were busy, but they left their nets and followed him. Get me right. I'm not saying you don't work. You will work. By the way, I am a full-time worker and I still work for the Lord. So when it comes to being busy, I have been there. I have been there. I am there, but I'm still going. Is it easy? No, it is not easy. God has not promised us that things will be easy. But one of the things he promises is that he'll be with us. We are not alone. And I want to tell you, it is not in vain when we serve the Lord. The other day I shared and I said we have 24 hours, day and night. Did you know that out of the 24 hours you have day and night, 2 hours and 40 minutes belong to God. That's a tenth of your day and night. If only you could use that 2 hours and 40 minutes wisely, my brother, you will be capable of serving the Lord without reasons. No reason is good enough of not serving the Lord. These people, they followed Jesus. Not, they did not proxenate. They did not say, let us think. Because when the word immediately is mentioned, it doesn't give them time to think. Or to say, let us go and consult so and so. You know, we have lived in a world that we want to consult and consult and we consult the wrong people. And you lose the anointing. When you hear that voice, obey and let, let you know what God is going to do next because he's working with you. Wow. And they immediately, I like this. <laughs> then Jesus said to them, that's 17, follow me and I'll make you become God is not calling you to serve you, to just keep you there, be there. He's making you to become his apostle, to become his representative at your place of work, his representative in your family, his representative in the midst of your siblings. Most of the time we lose, we, 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 we fear to lose. But you see, we also have a saying in my mother tongue, Utatika Dakora. That is to say, if you're not willing to part with something, don't expect you're going to gain anything. Remember, it is more blessed to give than to receive. These men, they were professional fishermen. That was their business for their daily living. What is your business for your daily living? Can you secure those two hours and 40 minutes for God? You're asking me, woman, I don't have a church. You don't have to have a church that building. The church is the souls that God has given you at your disposal. As you're driving along that road, on that highway, that is a pulpit right there to intercede for those people who are driving. The teenagers just are driving. Drunkard drivers are driving. People are overtaking without signaling. That's a pulpit right there. My brother, my sister, we all have the regions within us. Regions be old within us. The problem we have, we want to be like other people. When you hear somebody is a pastor, you ask, well, what church do you minister to? When somebody asks me that, I tell them, I have a church without walls of this media ministry. Many people have feared the media, but I tell you, I have so many testimonies of the media ministry impact. impact. Recently, we attended an ordination for one of the pastors through Soros Ministries. Who came to know the Lord and be deep in the word of God through the media. As the servant of God was advertising in Craigslist this man and Lord for tr uh, training lessons for music. Oh, yeah. Talk about it. And God blessed him with a wonderful wife just through the media. You know, I want to tell you, there is a lot to be done. But there are few laborers. Are you ready to become? God is in the business of making you become one of his laborers in the vineyard. And he's always looking for people. Our young people are looking people to mentor. The young mothers and young wives are looking older women to mentor them. So that they know that marriage is not just like a fast food that you just go through the driveway. There are mountains and valleys, there are hills, there are rocky times. But you have to be patient. Patient is a factual. 
There are young men there who don't have a father figure. They don't know that when the policeman stop, stops them, they should stop and not start to argue but treat them like human beings as we are reminded somewhere else. We need you to be a father figure, a mentor. There is a lot to be done. May God bless you and remember, God is looking you to become. He's calling you to become. Are you going to do it immediately or are you going to make time? Saying, I don't have the time. I am busy. I am tired. If you are tired, God says, oh, he renews the strength to the weary. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And when you go to take a nap, God will give you a deep sleep so that you can wake up fresh to be able to serve him. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, help my, fear, my hearers and my viewers know there is always work for them to do and you are calling them to become what you have planned for them. In Jesus' name, amen. You are there. You have never trusted the Lord. The Bible continues to tell us in the book of, first, uh, the book of John 1, to them that believed in him, he made them become children of God. You have never accepted the Lord to save you. As your personal Lord and Savior, I'm talking to you. Do you want to say this prayer after me? Lord Jesus, I come before you. I've marked time the many times. Forgive me. Write my name in the book of life. And help me desire to grow spiritually. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. Start walking in the newness of life. Look for a church nearby where you live to call a home church. A home church that teaches the full gospel without compromise for your spiritual growth from Genesis to Revelation. There you'll be equipped, you'll be encouraged to be a blessing to other people. Remember, there is always work to do, even in that home church. You don't have to be at the forefront. You can be a backbencher, but interceding, you become like the agent or the control panel of the pastor when he's preaching, of the youth, of the women ministry, you name it. God bless you. I love you and God loves you the most. Until next time, I am your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. But you can continue to listen to this message and other messages by different anointed servants of God by dialing 605. 781-3266. You can also search 11 Miracle Radio that way. Using your smartphone, download the app 11 Digital Media. You'll be blessed 24-7. When you are blessed, be a blessing to other people by sharing. I would also encourage you to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of the messages. And when you do, share with other people. I love you and God loves you the most.